All right, under the timing cover, the thermostat housing goes right there. Okay, now, the problem I have with this thing is on top of this thermostat housing, I'm going to show you, there's a plastic nipple that comes out straight out here. Comes, actually pokes through the timing cover. That little fitting there clips on it, like a little fuel line fitting. The problem with them is, <clears throat> When you grab onto this with a pair of pliers, that fitting snaps off. Um, you can't buy the fitting. You have to buy the whole housing from Volvo. It's 160 bucks. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to fix it. Okay, here's the housing, the way it bolts onto the motor, right like that. This would be the front of the motor, just like I showed you. Okay? You can see the threaded hole in the top. This, this way here. The nipple screws in like that, pokes through the timing cover, okay, and then that hose snaps on it. These break off. It's just cheap plastic. It gets brittle with heat, and they just snap off. But here's the thing. That's a threaded hole, but they won't sell you the nipple. Nobody will. Um, I've looked for two days. Years ago, you could buy them. I actually bought one once before. So what I'm going to do, here's my plan. <clears throat> I can't find anything that small. Okay, that's like, I don't even know how big it is. It's real tiny. Smallest I could find was an eighth-inch pipe. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to drill this out, tap it with eighth-inch pipe thread. This will thread into it. This will come through the cover, go up north, and I'll just hook the hose on right there, okay? And then this little hose, all it does, I'll get you over here and show you. All the hose does is it comes from the front of the motor. It's, what, a foot long, if that and goes right here to this drain tank or the reservoir tank and it's basically just an air bleeder is all it is um, you know so I'm going to chuck this up in the drill or in the vise on the drill press and we're going to go ahead and drill this out and tap it alright we got it in the vise chucked up we got it level and straight what I did is I ran a drill bit down in in the chuck down in the hole to where it would go right down ni nice and smooth so that we know we're straight and square. Uh, this is tight sitting on a table. It shouldn't take much to drill it out. And that should be it. That's it. Um, We may have to go one size bigger than that, but other than that, we're uh, we're right there. We'll go out. We'll go out and try and tap this, and uh, tap it before we put another drill in. Check it out. I actually think this is going to be okay. Uh, now it's absolutely critical that you get your tap started square. And uh, just baby it down in there. If it binds up a little bit, back it up. You know, put a little oil on it if you need to. Okay. Step on my tripod here. But it's cutting pretty good. Not a lot of effort. Okay. Let's back it back out. threads yeah okay and this is the piece that's going to screw in here so let's uh look at that get that out of the way think about that 
then this piece here will go on. We'll seal this, seal this, put the whole thing back together. Actually, this goes like this. Put the whole thing back together. Let's spin this around 180 degrees. Um, put it together. Put the cover on. This will stick through the cover probably three quarters of an inch. And then I'll show you what we're going to do from there. back here a little bit. <clears throat> then what we're going to do from there is this will actually look like this. Okay? Then we will thread this on to where it's straight up and down and sealed. We'll hook our hose on here, take the hose to the tank which is right about here, you know, eight inches away, and that'll work perfect. Now, the only thing I may have to do is because which is no big deal because the nipple that was on here was down here a little bit lower and it isn't near as big as this thing here we may be off in this hole a little bit so what I'll do is I just run a drill bit through this hole like a half inch drill bit and make this hole bigger so that we have room for this to come through like it's supposed to what I'll do is I'll put it together and if this doesn't fit, then I'll take it off and I'll drill it. But other than that, that's that. That right there just saved me 160 bucks. It cost me six dollars for the fittings, and it'll cost me 20 bucks for the two gaskets. So I saved 140 dollars. Borrowed the eighth-inch pipe tap from my brother-in-law, so I'll get that back to him. And it took me. An hour, if that. I mean, you literally almost saw it in real time, however long this video is. Add maybe 10 minutes for me, you know, going back and forth, you know, hunting up a drill bit and um, stuff like that. But that is one problem we are done with. Now, I will call around and see if anybody's got gaskets and um, a new thermostat. If nobody has them and nobody can get them, I will order them off the internet. And then we will move on to the next problem.